Hey everybody, we have a very next door coming at you with actually a second review today. Because I felt like it, because I feel like shit, and I just felt like watching movies and talking about them to make me feel better. But, um, earlier when I said I was feeling better, um, I was only feeling better because I watched it watching movies, so, yeah. Uh, this review is of The Code, or Thick as Thieves. It's called both in America, whatever. Um, from 2009, directed by Mimi Leader, or Later, stars Morgan Freeman, Antonio Banderas, Rada Mitchell, and Robert Forster. Now, this also, like the last film, it's nothing new. It's a heist movie. Morgan Freeman's a, a like, super well-known art thief. Antonio Banderas is a low-end thief. And they join forces to steal two Fabergé eggs from these Russian guys. And Robert Forster is on their trail as a cop. So what did I think of the movie? I really liked it. Uh, even given how simple it is, it uses the simplicity to its advantage. And instead of trying to be like, oh, make up a bunch of bullshit, it's like, oh, let's actually develop the characters before the heist so that you actually care. And I think that these are some pretty decently well done characters for Morgan Freeman and Tony Banderas and even Rod and Mitchell. Sorry, I hope I don't seem off. But yeah, it's it's a fun one. It's it cuts at a good pace. It's uh hour and forty excuse me. Yeah. Hour and forty four minutes. Doesn't feel like it really. It it it's listed as an action thriller, I wouldn't call it that. There are maybe two action scenes, maybe? I'm not counting the heist stuff as action scenes really. Because that's kind of weird to put in that category. But yeah, um, let me get to the cast. Morgan Freeman, of course, does a great job. He's great in pretty much everything he's been in, except, I will say, Vanquish, which was the last thing I saw him in. He was kind of just bored in that. But I mean, the movie wasn't doing him any favors, even though I thought it was okay. Um, he does a good job playing this art thief character, I kind of wish there was, like, a flashback to see him doing, like... I kind of wanted to see him, like, show off his skills or something. Because a lot of the thieving in the movie is done by Antonio Banderas. Like, the actual, like, work and stuff. And Morgan Freeman's mostly to the, to the side just, like, talking to him. Which, whatever. I mean, what are you going to do? It's not like he was even young when this came out, Morgan Freeman, so... I understand. Antonio Banderas, who I'd say is the actual star of the film... Uh, they put Morgan Freeman's name first on this and a lot of movies because you can sell a movie more with the name of Morgan Freeman than you can Antonio Banderas, even though I think Antonio Banderas is still a pretty great actor. He does a great job here as this... Uh, Gabriel Martin... Uh, he's, he, he's very suave, very cool, very fun to watch. Rada Mitchell. I love Rada Mitchell. This is one of her weaker performances. She seems very airheaded and not in a good way. It kind of doesn't feel like they, she played the character right. Since the character's supposed to be kind of, uh, independent, free thinking and all that. And she's kind of just, ooh, you're hot. And, like, she's very breathy in this. Yeah, I, I think some work on her character would have been nice. Uh, Robert Forster. He's, he plays the character that he plays a lot of the time. The disgruntled cop. Or government worker, whatever. He, he does a good job here. Um, but, yeah. The, this I know I say this like every time I'm not gonna have much to say about this one other than I really liked it even in my review I basically just repeat that over and over which I try not to do too often 
but you'd be surprised how often it happens where I just know in my heart like yeah I did enjoy the film and I don't can't really think of a, a reason that I enjoyed it other than just I think it was well made or I think it was good that's kind of what this film is I can, I can just go ahead and get to the pros and cons pros the acting of course Morgan Freeman Antonio Banderas Robert Forster great actors doing great good jobs the the couple action scenes that are there are decently well put together there's a scene where Antonio Banderas is on top of the subway cars and he's shooting back at the police and avoiding getting shot by them um people have mentioned that the CGI used to recreate the train tunnel looks really bad it did stick out to me a little but it wasn't so bad that it like took me out of the scene I still thought it was mildly exhilarating um but yeah uh the heist itself I thought was kind of low-key but in a good way they didn't try to like make it over elaborate with like oh we have to do the Q lock or something like that it, it was kind of just simple which I'm fine with um film looks really nice apparently the budget was 25 million which at the time for this company was a pretty big uh, budget this is a millennium film and as I've talked in the past I really do like quite a few Millennium films including the Has Fallen trilogy um Merchant of Death even though I know that uses excuse me uses a lot of stock footage from other new image films action films like Cyber Cop 3 I'm aware of that it didn't stick out to me when I saw it but yeah I'd probably change my rating if I watch it again but <sighs> I didn't mind it. Sorry. A little bit tired. Um, but yeah, uh, cons. Again, Rada Mitchell, I, I, I think she should have either been recast or they could have done a bit of work on her character. Um, oh, another pro. I forgot the score. If I can read this. whatever the score was was good be it cons um <sighs> again yeah I think there should have been like a flashback shut up oh my god so annoying sorry my tablet's going off but um I do think there should have been like a flashback scene showing Morgan Freeman's character pulling off a heist cause I'm very I would have been very curious to see oh how good is this guy like to show his skills to like show in the future like what he's capable of I think that should have been done instead of just telling us but yeah it, overall it's a uh, excuse me my sciences overall it's a good movie <laughs> sorry this is a mess of a video um, it's a good movie it's a good heist film the only recommendation I can make do not watch the version on YouTube that says it's like an hour and 28 minutes that it, there's that version that's on YouTube free movies where you can watch a movie free with ads and I think it's no ads if you have YouTube red do not watch that version of the vil version on the film rice channel because constantly they put up movies and like take out random bits for some reason and I don't know why since they own the movies I don't understand why they do that but yeah just find the version of the film that is a hundred three or a hundred four minutes long so an hour and 43 or 44 minutes long make sure but yeah that's about it for this review um sorry it wasn't longer if you like the review comment down below like the video subscribe and uh move your next door out.